This is Six Four, a self-described political pop band from Hong Kong. They sing about democracy. Many in the band are too young to remember, but they've named themselves after the date the Chinese government used the military to disperse a student-led pro-democracy protest in Beijing in 1989. The policy in Hong Kong is now controlled by Chinese government, and we we can see our freedom and our human rights is losing. We are losing our rights, just same as the just same as the student in China. There are still no exact numbers as to how many people were killed on June 4, 1989. It was the most violent crackdown in recent Chinese history, and it can't be discussed on the mainland. But Hong Kong's special status gives people here more freedom to express themselves. These students went on hunger strike, part of a growing youth movement that hopes to hold on to the city's democratic ways and spread its principles over to the mainland. At City University in Hong Kong, a temporary museum has been set up with the aim of making the events of 1989 more real for those who weren't there. It includes video footage and artifacts from that time like old Hong Kong newspapers. But there's also a collection of witness accounts and photographs from the relatives of those who were killed during the confrontation. But beyond a temporary museum, Hong Kong also has this bookstore. It specializes in making available information that's been banned on the mainland. Most of its customers are mainlanders. People, when they come over, they try to find these kind of missing pieces. What happened? Uh, and also, of, of, of course, the current status of the government, what they happened. It's the government's current status that is of foremost concern here. The issues that led to protests in 1989 still exist. Unequal distribution of wealth, corruption and abuse of power. The struggle of the people of Hong Kong for democracy and the struggle of the people of China for their basic rights, it's the same struggle. We have the same opponent, the Chinese Communist Party. So to make up for China's silence, they sing in Hong Kong and shed light on the missing pieces. That, they say, is the only way to heal the wounds of the past and make them feel more secure about their future. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.